coming from that direction. And this is this is head level to, to where the back of my head would have been me sitting on the couch. Another person in the neighborhood of Saturday night's drive by shooting believes her house fell victim to the violence as well. She found what she believes to be two bullet holes in her house when she came home today after a weekend away. Well, the shooting occurred near the corner of Atlantic Avenue and Avenue H in White City. Witnesses in that neighborhood say the car traveled north on Atlantic and then turned left on Avenue H. A witness says after the car turned the corner, the suspects fired off several rounds at the window as they drove. The neighbors believe they were targeting a specific residence that lined up in front of their houses when the car drove down the street, putting those houses right in the line of fire. News Watch host Casey Kirshner visited the White City neighborhood tonight. She joins us now from the newsroom. Well, Casey, at this point, we don't know if any of those bullets are connected to this weekend's drive-by shooting, but it sure does seem strange. Well, it certainly does, and it did to Griselda Marnie, who returned from a weekend away and noticed what she believes to be two bullet holes in her house. Now, she says she was out of town when she returned home earlier today. She noticed the holes in the side panels of her home, and she called the sheriff's department. Her next door neighbor also found a bullet lodged in his roof yesterday. Now, right now, the sheriff's department has not confirmed if any of this was related to Saturday's shooting, but the neighbors do not know where else those bullet holes could have come from. Now, Griselda says the most unsettling part is where the shots hit her home. I looked around and I saw where it had been hit. That made it even more scarier. It would have been hit by the roof or the fence. Even my car, but because both shots, they're places, you know, I'm normally at. Griselda says the sheriff's office did come by her house earlier today and documented the damage, but left the bullets lodged in the walls for the time being. And the sheriff's office plans to do ballistic analysis on the bullet collected from Griselda's neighbor yesterday, and it's unclear how long that will take. Meanwhile, detectives are still looking for the people involved in Saturday's drive-by shooting. Live in the newsroom, Casey Kirshner, Newswatch 12.